Hello everyone and welcome to a video where we are going to go over free editing tools that I love and I think you might love as well. First one we're going to go over is photopea.com. I'll have the link to all these websites down below. So when you open photopea, it's going to bring you to this website here. What I always do is go ahead and click new project and you can edit name, all the dimensions here. You have already pre-made dimensions here for whatever you need. Also the background, you can change. I always do transparent, that way if I need to make just an image for a video, I don't have a big white or black square in the background. And once you get everything all made and ready, click create. Then it's just like Photoshop. You have all your shapes here. If you wanna change the shapes, go up here to fill and you can change the color. There are plenty of videos that go in depth on this. I'm here just to get a quick video out and just share these websites with you so you know about them and then you can go and learn about them. Next on the list is called myinstance.com. This website's where I get all my meme sounds, all the bonks, all the anything that you hear in the background. I love this website, you can find anything. On this first page is just really popular sounds, like we got the oof Minecraft. You just click the button, it plays the sound. You can also go up here, you can go to the home, just added buttons, you can change the category of the buttons. There's a search bar up here, you can search certain sounds that you want. Whenever you find a sound you like, We'll do the Oof Minecraft, hover the name and click it. Bring you to this page, just do download MP3. There you go, it downloads, just show it in the folder. You can just open it, use it in whatever you're editing on. Next website is Antiva.com. This website, you can copy and paste YouTube links. Use this one at your own risk, because I'm not sure if you can get in trouble, probably, because you're just basically stealing stuff off of YouTube. You don't want to lose the channel you've worked so hard to build and lose all your subscribers. And speaking of subscribers, why not subscribe to me? I make semi-okay, decent gaming content that I think a lot of people might enjoy. Anyways, back to this. So what you want to do is go ahead and open YouTube. Up here in the search bar, go ahead and search whatever you want to search, whatever you want to insert into your video. All right, so let's just say I want Peter falling and hurting his knee because I referenced it in a video. I like to put memes, movie clips, TV clips, whatever that I reference in the video so people really understand it. Obviously, the shorter the video, the faster it's going to download. Just go ahead and click on this video right here. What you want to do next is copy the link with Control C. Then click back over here to the converter. Make sure you have this bar clicked on and then do Control V to copy it. You want to click Start Now once your link is there. Then this screen, if it is a longer video, I guess you can start and end at certain points. I've never messed with that, so I'm not sure how well it works. But over here, you can download the MP3. You can download just the audio, the video. I've not used GIF for thumbnail. Honestly, I've only used the video tab, but all the tabs, you can change the quality format depending on what tab you are clicked on is gonna change. And the file size, the better the quality, the more the size. You can log into this website as well using a free account. And I think you get more downloads because you can only download so many things in a 24 hour period. But if you log in, I think it's still limited, but you can download a couple more. Same thing as the buttons that we downloaded. You just click download and it will download to your files and then you can drag them and use them wherever you want. Fourth website we're gonna talk about is fontmeme.com. This one I've not used too much. I used it a couple times. What you do is come up here to search, type in whatever you want. I'll just use family guy because it's right there. It'll bring in a page of stuff here. I always just use whatever has like the show or the game picture on it. So you click on that. Then you scroll down and then here is where the magic happens. You can type in whatever you want. I'll type in my name. Some you can change like the style of it. Family Guy only has the one. You can change the size. Even add little effects to it. Like if I want it to be different colors, curved or something, I can do that. I'll just leave it normal now. Once you get everything set the way you want it, you can like generate. We'll have it right here. Whenever you get what you want set here, you just click this pencil and do even more editing. I've not messed with this, but then just click download and it again will go into your files. Next up is what I use to record with. I just use Streamlabs. Got, you know, your basic recording. Got a free version and I believe obviously like a paid version. I'm using the free version. It's got everything set up the way I want to set it up. You can log in and out with different social media accounts like YouTube, Twitch, I believe Kick. I've not actually logged out to look for a while, but I'm sure by now Kick is on there. It's so like I said earlier with the Photopea thing, this is obviously advanced. There's a bunch of different things you can do. You're gonna have to look up a step-by-step -step tutorial, whatever, to set it up how you wanna set it up. We're gonna move on to the last thing that I have on the list here is what I edit with. I just use DaVinci Resolve. So for DaVinci Resolve, this is just stuff I've worked on. 
your screen will probably be blank. So what you want to do is go to new project and change the name of it. This screen is what pops up, but I always edit in this edit tab right here. And again, this is one thing you're just going to have to either learn or look up videos to explaining it. This screen looks different because I've customized it to the way that I want it to look. But to use it, when you get it all set up, the first thing you want to do is bring up your location where you have all your recordings go to. This right here says no clips in media pool. Go to wherever you have your recording saved, click and drag it here. It'll ask you to change the frame rate. I always just change it. When it's in your media pool here, you just click and drag onto your timeline. Then you can, you can edit it however you want to. There's a ton of effects and stuff over here that you can mess with and insert. There is a paid version also to get even more effects and stuff. Once you get it all nice and edited, go down here to this little rocket. It will bring up this screen. You can change the name even from what you entered when you made the project. You can change the location of where you want it to go when you're done. You just click browse. This is where I have all my stuff go to. Wherever you get your location and all that set, you can mess with all these settings. I've never done it, but it's there if you want to. Once you get everything set perfectly how you want, you click add to render queue. It comes up over here on the right, and then you just click render all. It'll process, download, do all that, and show up wherever you set it to download to. Then you can upload it to YouTube. I hope that helps some people. I know it was just kind of quick rapid fire, but I just wanted to get the information out there and not waste anybody's time. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, let me know what you think of the websites. If there's other websites that I didn't cover that would also be super useful to people. I mentioned earlier, I make a bunch of gaming videos. If you don't mind checking those out, maybe if you're bored, I don't know. Anyway, thank you for taking time to watch this video and I will see you later.